Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. This is a 16-part series. Oh, oh no. Here's part one. This is what I get. Fuck you. Oh, jeez. I gave you the bigger one, so I'm right. Mm -hmm. That's the bigger package. Well, now we got more to eat. Not real smarties. I don't care what the bag says. It's wrong. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I got it doesn't two matter, they're fucking NHL Face Off 99. Oh my god, Brock and I are playing this for Power Plays. Oh NHL no! Face Off 98. <laughs> We're playing this for Power Plays. NHL 2000 for the PC. Oh my god, I actually have 2001. Sweet. No, I got 2000. Uh, NHL PA Hockey. Brock actually won it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough when you did it with me with the PS2 yeah, great no. ones. NHL 97 for the Sega Saturn. Saturn? What? <laughs> I have another Saturn game. <laughs> NHL 95. Sweet. NHL Stanley Cup. Sweet. <laughs> NHL Stanley Cup. Another Batman great NHL Stanley Cup. Okay. You can do it, Brad. This is never gonna end, is it? NHL All Star Hockey. Oh my God! In the box. <laughs> Fifty cents. Miracle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you seen this movie? No. Oh my God. It's about when the U.S. hockey team beat Russia in oh. the Olympics. <laughs> oh my God! Really? Uh, hockey. From Genesis. In box. NHL '96. <laughs> <laughs> NHL 95. <laughs> How are you going to carry all this back home? Ice hockey. <laughs> oh, for the Atari, I don't have one. But now I have a reason to get one. Okay. Uh, kids sports ice hockey. I just bought this. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh, but this one's sun faded. Even better. Justin Bieber's Believe. What? <laughs> I believe! I believe! I got you a couple postcards of maple syrup. <laughs> Angel, are you gonna be okay, man? I don't think he is. No, no, no. We're winding down. Sammy, go uh, get him out from now. I got you a new home. copy of Dudley Do Right. <laughs> yes! Oh, you. No, fuck that movie. I got you a copy hey, of the book. No, the movie's book. awful. Right. No, the movie's awful. The character's good, the movie's oh, awful. Yeah. No! Money, yeah. look, the book. <laughs> and finally, I gave you, I'm giving you an action figure of former WWF Intercontinental <laughs> Champion, the Mountie. He's the Mountie! <laughs> I can't hold all these video games! <laughs> Why can't I hold all these video games? And Blondie, I got something for you. Oh, fuck. Hard driving. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> At least it's not 20 hockey, more hockey games. I can't hold all these hockey games. <laughs> Have fun there. You're welcome. <laughs> this is what I get for giving you molars, isn't it?
Okay, here we are with what I got at Anime North this year. Uh, normally I don't do these type of things where I, I'm actually on camera and talking about what I got and showing what I got. And I usually just do like a screenshot at the end of my videos. But Siri and I actually got uh, a lot more things that I usually get at conventions. Uh, even though more than half of it was actually given to me by several of my friends from River City Gamers. But since I didn't film that much to begin with, I figured I might as well just throw this in with the video too, as well. To start things off, before I actually went to the convention, a few of my friends actually stopped by my house along the way, and then we took two cars to uh, the convention. Uh, one of them was Shadow Snake, along with SCR, Angel Halo, and Tiger Uchimaru. Uh, Shadow Snake actually gave me a copy of Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast, since he already had a GameCube uh, port of the game, which, considering that this game goes for a fair amount and that this is actually a Dreamcast game I actually wanted to get, I really do thank him for that and it pretty much covered for his guests since I pretty much took him in my vehicle. So thanks again, Shadow Snake, as I knock my tripod around. Next up is when I actually got to, at least to Toronto, in our hotel room, because uh, several other people also gave me games as well, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Zero Master actually gave me a couple things, one of which was actually something that I kind of actually liked was Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space, which is the second season of the Sam and Max uh, adventure games from Telltale. Uh, this is a compilation of the second season on the Wii, which which is actually pretty cool because I actually have played Sam and Max before uh, but the weird thing is is that uh, I picked this up which was Sam and Max the first season the first three episodes I picked this up at a whim for like 10 bucks at like a future shop but the thing is uh, now you could you can download the fourth episode for free but I seldom played the fifth and sixth episodes of season one and as far as I can tell, there's no way to really download or purchase those episodes separately anymore. So if I want to play through the fifth and sixth episodes, I, have to, I would have to buy the first season again, basically. Or just buy the full season. But I've heard that you know, the first season is on the Wii anyway. So I'll probably just do that or just, or just download uh, the first season off of Steam or something. But this is actually pretty neat thing, so thank you, Zero. Now the second thing, well, Zero Master got me this, Alien Origins, and this is an Asylum movie. Yeah, which came out, which is pretty, Asylum makes a lot of these types of movies where if they pretty much exploit and purposely come out to coincide with big name releases, uh, with this, I believe would be be coinciding with Prometheus, and they're pretty low budget exploitative, low budget exploitative movies. Uh, this looks like some kind of like really cheap like camcorder horror with like bad c CG aliens or something. I don't know, but yeah, thanks Zero. And even though I technically showed this already in my footage before. Uh, but among all the 7 million hockey games that SCXCR gave to Zero Master, he gave me this among the mix, uh, which is hard driving on the Sega Genesis, which is just uh, an older, like, kind of arcadey driving simulation type of game. So, yeah. With Angel Halo, if you recall, he actually has appeared in my videos before, at least for the Heart of the Alien review, in which he did talk about games like, uh, uh, out of this world, or another world as it's usually called, and as well as flashback quest for identity, briefly. Well, even though I already have this game on the Super Nintendo, he actually gave me the Sega CD version of Flashback the Quest for Identity, which which has all new cinematic sequences for enhanced gameplay. Because as you all know, enhanced cutscenes equals better gameplay, somehow. But yeah, even though I already technically have this game, uh, this is still this is still a neat little addition to my Sega CD collection, so thank you very much. Now that's actually not the only Sega CD game I got that weekend. Uh, 
Will and Real actually gave me three Sega CD games, which, well, they're not actually not all bad games as far as I can tell. First up is Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse, which is the Sega CD version, pretty much of... It's a, it's a game where you pretty much go as Mickey Mouse throughout the various uh, cartoons throughout the years that he's, that he's been in, including the very first one. So, that's kind of neat. Uh, the second one is Bouncers. I'm not really sure what this one is about. You basically play as basketballs, playing basketball, and you go in like beaches and creepy haunted houses and space. I, I, I don't even know really. And finally, this one actually really surprised me, or pleasantly surprised me, was Lunar, the Silver Star, which is an RPG series that started out on the Sega CD. And this is the first one. So, I mean, just this alone is like really something. Because this is pretty much like, well, a gem for the Sega CD, as far as I can tell, in terms of like actual really good games for it. So, and even though it has been remade on the PlayStation and PSP, having the original is still really cool. And, and I can't thank uh, Unreal enough for getting me this. So that's actually really neat. Okay, and last of the games of uh, people have actually given to me, uh, later on the weekend, uh, Kadeem Jutsu, who you may have known for uh, Inuyasha Bridge and a bunch of other bridge stuff, he actually uh, gave me and a bunch of other people some NES games. With me, he gave me Toxic Crusaders. Yeah, I've never seen the Toxic Crusader movie or cartoon or any of that stuff, and uh, just giving me this, it's just like, well, okay, thanks. I guess. Now finally time for the things that I actually bought myself. First up is a physical copy of Bloody War 2 for the PlayStation. If you know my good friend SCXCR's Bloody War Retrospective, you, sh you should already know about this game. Uh, I actually already have this game on, at least downloaded on my PlayStation 3 uh, as a PlayStation 1 Classic on through PSN. The only problem with that version is that it has slowdown for whatever reason. But a physical copy, we actually did, we did test this as I did bring my PS3 to play some games in the hotel room. It does work. Uh, so having a physical copy of this is nice. Uh, the only thing is that the case is just a little damaged. But other than that, you know, it's Bloody Roar 2. It's a good, fun, funny game. The next game I bought was actually something I did because uh, my friend Tiger Uchimaru forgot to bring it because uh, she wanted to play this game with us, but she forgot she lent it to one of her friends. And that is Blast Chamber. Uh, this is basically like a four-player game where you play as athletes with bombs strapped on them, and you're like in a rotating uh, room, and you have to like basically find these little star bits, get these little star bits, and you either bring them to your own goal to extend your time before you blow up, or throw or throw them into like opposing goal goals of your of your opponents to decrease their blow up time. So and it gets really frantic with more people. So this this was actually a pretty fun game and I don't really, really regret getting it for myself. So so uh, if you never heard of it, it's actually a pretty fun uh, four player game. So yeah. Okay, next up is actually something that isn't a game. Well, besides that Asylum movie I got, but this is still video game related. And this is a Tales of Zillia music CD. Of course, if you know that I'm a, big, uh, I'm a Tales fan and I'm doing a retrospective for it, so finding this uh, separate is actually pretty cool because uh, I actually didn't get the collector's edition of Tales of Zillia. I just have the regular edition right here. So getting the music CD is actually a, a pretty convenient way for me to get the music for that game, which will be handy for the retrospective when I get to that part in about like three years or so or whenever I get around to it. I also got the Game Boy version of Killer Instinct, which I already have the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct Gold on the SSD4, so I figured I figured I might as well just get this. It was only five bucks. Uh, and the neat thing about this one is that you can actually play this two-player on the Super Nintendo on the Super Game Boy, and that has like uh, some unique backgrounds and colors and stuff too on that. So I actually did get to play a little bit of that on there too, and I did and. Uh, I did get to play the new Killer Instinct while I was there too, uh, as the earlier footage showed, and uh, 
It's actually not too bad of a game, it's just, well, I don't really feel like spending $400 just to play your Killer Instinct when it's like literally one of, if not the only thing I'm really interested for the Xbox to get on the Xbox One right now. So, but in the meantime, I got this for my Killer Instinct collection, I suppose. Next up is Monster Hunter Freedom for the PSP. Now, I've really gotten into Monster Hunter thanks to Monster Hunter Try on the Wii, along with a bunch of the other guys on River City Gamers. Uh, I've been getting, also been collecting the other games in the series for the PSP. I already had Freedom 2 and, and Unite, so this was the only PSP Monster Hunter release that came out here that I don't have. Uh, it was $25, but I actually uh, bargained it down to $20, so this was actually not too bad of a purchase. At least I think. So yeah, I like Monster, and uh, this was a nice find to get at the convention. At least in the the one vendor that was actually at the Sheraton, as opposed to the main dealer's room. And lastly, this was actually something I didn't buy at the convention, but this was afterwards because uh, after Anime North, uh, when uh, me and some of the others came back down here, uh, we stopped it just quickly in my town and uh, went to my local EB Games just to get some, just to find maybe a one or two more games, this is just to see what's there and stuff, and just show them around. Uh, I actually got this, which was Beatable Joe Double Trouble, which is the DS Beatable Joe game. Uh, I have Beatable Joe 1 and 2 on the GameCube. I haven't played through 2 yet, but I now have this, so I look forward to it. I like Beatable Joe, so yeah. And that's about it for Amy North. I had a good time with my friends, I had a good time at the convention, I got some good games and otherwise random games. And I look forward to going again next year. So until then, here's what few pictures I took at the convention, and I'll see you next time.